Hi, it's Melissa in my Music for Life piano studio. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you very quickly how to learn the most basic solfege syllables applied to the most basic scale, the C major scale, and how you can begin to do ear training with the most basic major intervals. So let's get started. First, we're gonna use the C major scale. If you don't already know it, we are starting on any C, usually middle C, and we are playing the eight pitches above it in order. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. But of course, we don't have to know the note names or say the note names. We can also use the solfege syllables. If you already know them, great. If you don't, then you can learn Do is C in this case. Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. And what you want to learn to do as your ear training and practicing distinguishing the most basic intervals is you want to learn to sing and match these pitches like this. Do. So that's your basic solfege, and you want to practice that scale over and over. Now, of course, you can move that scale, and that's why we um, sometimes refer to Do as movable, because we can move it down. For example, if your range is more here to here, you can certainly move your starting note down and create your starting note as whatever note is comfortable for you in your starting range. Do, Re. start on, use that first note as your DO pitch. Most often when you're taking um, ear training exams and theory exams though, a lot of the exam um, uh, recordings that you'll hear will start on middle C as just a standard for standardized ear training and theory tests. So be aware of that and make sure you also practice everything using middle C as your DO. So then we have to talk about intervals, and we're talking about only the most basic intervals today. We're talking about the major and the perfect, not the minor. So today, we're in this video, we're talking about from C to D, or Do to Re, is the interval of a second. Do, Re, and you should sing that over and over again to start to hear that pitch and match it. Do, Re, listen to it then sing it. Do, Re. And see if you can begin matching with and without the piano. The next step is Do, Re, Do. Being able not only to take the pitch up, but to bring it back down. Do, Re, Do. Always try to play the exercise on the piano first and then sing it. And then you can play it again to check and see if you've matched. Once you have Do, Re, Do, you can move on to the next interval, the third. Do, Re, Do. Do, Mi, Do. The fourth, the perfect fourth. back down in pitch, you can certainly just do Do, Mi, Do, Fa, Do, So, and that's the next one, is the perfect fifth. Do, So, Do. You can also test yourself on intervals by playing your starting note, like I just did, but singing the interval at the correct pitch. So if I wanted to sing Do, So, Do, I could play the Do and try to sing the interval of the perfect fifth. So, the interval of the six, 
fifths is do, la, do, do, la, do. The interval of the seventh is do, t, do, or do to t. That's a hard one. Do, t. Easy one to go flat. And then of course we have back to the one or the octave. Do, do. So that's a very easy way. Now the exercise that works really well is to simply go all the way up and down um, your C major scale, going do, re, do, do, mi, do. idea. Um, and people with um, perfect pitch, by the way, will find this very, very easy. If you don't have perfect pitch and you have relative pitch like I do, sometimes I do make mistakes as I'm going through these quickly. But at any rate, spend time every day going through these pitches and these simple exercises. Um, and then you can start to do your intervals and start to do not only up but also down. You can do the interval from so to do. Also take the pitch the other way and you can go below middle C but then of course you're gonna have a different interval depending on what you have uh, the interval that you're playing so um, if you go down a second you're going do, T, do. if you go down a third do, la, do. if you go down the fourth do. <clears throat> excuse me do, so, do, do, fa, do, and so on down. <clears throat> helps to have water handy, by the way, too. So I hope this helps you with some ear training and very basic, very simple pitch training as you are working on identifying intervals with your voice at the piano. Thanks for watching.